morning everybody, this is Brad of Pisces Pet Emporium. How's it going today? We're going to be doing a fun little video today on fossorial species tarantulas. Fossorial and terrestrial are very similar, but they do have their specific differences. And what can Pison we sell animals? The fossorials that we're going to be looking at today are going to be like your trapdoor spiders and your trapdoor tarantula or the blue-footed baboon. Some other fossorials that are also going to be on the list today are going to be the M. robustum um, as well as the H. gigas and the electric blue helobrachys. So we're going to be mostly focusing on the trapdoor spider today as it's the only true fossorial that we have in our collection right now. So let's just jump right into this. So we have these amazing trapdoor spiders in right now. These guys are going to be the El Ornatus. So these guys are really interesting because they actually don't get that big. The other nice thing about these guys is that they are going to be living inside of something about this big their whole life. You'll bring the dirt to right about here. I recommend Repti soil and that's it. Um, these guys, like previously mentioned, are completely fossorial. So they're gonna be living in the ground their entire life. Um, we're actually gonna be tagging on a cool little feeding video today to see how interesting these are. These guys are always joked about being a pet jar of dirt, but I do believe that they're way more than that. These guys are a really fun and interesting species because of their feeding habits, as well as when they do come out of their burrow to do construction work, it's fascinating to watch. So how about you come up closer here and we'll take a good look right into their little enclosure. So as you see right here, we did use coconut husk in here. I usually do recommend the Repti soil for this species. And as you can see, they have this little trap door that flaps open and closed and you see these little veins of webbing come out is more like a uh, an alarm system. So as something walks around up here, they'll feel the movement and the webs tugging, which means they can jump out of their burrow and take it. Or if it's large enough like my pen here, they'll think it's a threat and they'll burrow down even further to stay safe. So this is a really interesting species. It may just look like a jar of dirt, but it really is much, much more than that. So the next species we're gonna be showing is another fossorial tarantula. This is gonna be the blue-footed baboon, also known as the trapdoor tarantula. So these guys will mostly, again, will be living in the ground. You want nice deep substrate. These guys get quite a lot bigger, so you are gonna want more of like a 10 gallon tank filled up right near the top there. The nice thing about this species though, is that they like it dry, 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 dry. These guys come from the deserts of Africa. That's why they're consistently burrowing. They're trying to get away from the heat. So the bottom layer you want very moist, while the top layer you want to be like completely bone dry. But by moist, I mean moist, not soaking. You don't want lots of humidity for this species. They like it dry, dry, dry. Now the nice thing about this species is that they're bright white, they have some really cool patterings all over their body, and they got these bright blue feet that they show off and try to scare you when they're mad at you. So the nice thing about this species is, is that even though that I do mark them down as a double red here, they're actually not going to be that bitey. They will prefer to run to their hides or run away or bolt away. They will definitely stand their ground and nab you though if you do test them though. So this is more of a advanced species. That being said, why don't you come here and take a look at the way that I've set this up. So as you can see, he still has his lunch in there. It's running around. Hopefully we can get a cool feeding, uh, feeding video. But as you can see, it's bone dry. There's no moisture in here. There's a little bit of leaves and we have a little piece of cork in there. But for the most part, it's dry, dry, dry. This is what they like. Again, coming from the deserts of Africa, this is what they're gonna want, nice and dry. You can see right up here is the opening of his burrow. That's all packed in, very trap door spider-like. That's why they got the nickname, the trap door tarantula. So the next one we're going to be looking at today is going to be a new world coming from Colombia. Um, again, I mark this down as a red as it being, again, a mostly fossorial burrowing tarantula. When they get nervous, they tend to bolt and run away. So again, with these guys being more in the ground, you're going to want to have, again, deep substrate. Uh, M. robustum does take a lot of substrate to make it happy. Um, the other thing is, is they like it kind of middle of the ground for their humidity. Um, nothing too wet, but nothing too dry. Uh, do pack them full of food. They do like lots of food as they do get quite large. Being nicknamed the giant Colombian red leg. 
they get quite large and they will basically live inside the ground their whole life. So make sure you keep them nice and happy, keep them nice middle of the level for the humidity, and make sure you feed them really well. They'll be a happy, healthy tarantula for you. The last two we're going to be looking at today are going to be the H. Gigas and the Helobrachis Electric Blue. Um, now, there's not too much of a difference between the two behavior-wise, but for the most part, their care is going to be slightly different. So for your H. Gigas, again, you want nice deep substrate. They're a burrowing species, a fossorial species. These guys are also known being the giant Cameroonian red uh, baboon. So for the most part, these guys, again, you're going to want to pack them full of food, lots of food, big, fat, healthy healthy tarantula. Um, and then with the Helobrachis electric blue, uh, these guys do like it a little bit more humid. Uh, they do like a little bit more outside decorations that they can web on, um, as these guys do tend to come out of their burrows and do construction in their tank. Uh, construction being like the webbing, rearranging their tank, and these guys are eating machines as well. Um, I always like to say with your Helobrachis, you feed them until they stop eating. Um, again, big, healthy tarantulas. Um, that being said, their abdomen and their thorax should be about the same size. 